From the beginning, a warrior prepares for sacrifice. Touched by blood, the sword becomes the soul of its wielder. We fight free of our past as gladiators and slaves to seek our own renown and honor to follow our own gods. For the warrior walks a path, but the blade foresees it and remembers it. The blade, however, like the warrior, has its own secrets. Warriors from a culture of blood sacrifice. The Hisho must rewrite their past as slaves and gladiators into a glorious future. The first to discover behemoth technology inadvertently reactivated by a sword also fashioned in foundries of the endless. Their destiny will be written in battle with the blood of their enemies. Okay, so, hey everyone, Wanderbot here, and welcome back to Endless Space 2. So, in celebration of the new DLC, we are going to uh, do a series on it, obviously. Uh, this game is near and dear to my heart, for one, because I love the games, I love the style, I love the music, I listen to the music constantly, when I, even when I'm not playing the game. And, um, this will be interesting. Uh, and it also kind of carries on the torch that Masters of Orion, or Master of Orion, uh, kind of totally dropped and then spit in our faces, and seriously, the most recent iteration is just, ugh, so disappointing. Anywho, let's see how this goes. This is, this is gonna be kind of fun. Okay, so it looks like things are not broken on me. Tried this first and it nuked my whole stream, so... Interestingly enough, instead of approval, we have K. K is a very special resource. It's earned by destroying enemy CP in space battles. Bear the fight, the more honor. It's earned by discovering and conquering systems. It's lost by retreating, failing an invasion, or losing a system. Okay. And I think we can also spend it. Not much, but still. So... You can spend it for a small boost here and there. Uh, so... Effects on a colonized system, extra industry... Uh... Extra industry if we're within range of a behemoth. Uh, shield absorption. So, yeah. We can spend K on stuff. Homeland defense. War banners. This will be interesting. I'm looking forward to trying out a more war-based faction. I almost never do. I'm kind of... Well... Let's see, industry... Huh, that's interesting. Progressively increases the support for the militaristic party. Longer it stays in queue, the more efficient. Fun. Okay, well, let's get another one of these first. And maybe colonize that planet. Uh, let's colonize maybe earlier. Let, let's colonize almost immediately. The sooner that we get uh, two of these going, the better. We might as well scan for the anomalies. Huh, we have a lot that I can immediately just dive into doing. Alright, so we got a bunch of ships. So I got a, a scout. Where am I? Where am I in the galaxy? We'll have him go that way. Hopefully, I'm not like immediately. Uh, let's see. What is this? Economic, economic. What who? Economic behemoth. Oh, so it's a cheap behemoth, probably. So it's a big ship, tons of health, fair bit of movement, projectile energy balance. Overall range, accuracy, long. I'll send it over here. The behemoth seems like it's kind of the uh, the equivalent of uh, the cool ship from last time. Are you out of moves? Oh, he's out of moves already. Okay. 
So this red ring is probably the behemoth area. Okay, right, suggested tech. Uh, let's go to the tech screen. And we have a lot of things we don't want to end our turn. Okay. So, hero management. So what is this guy good at? He has no skill points, so reduced fle fleet... Uh, uh, upkeep, there we go. So industry... Industry per planet. So, actually, this guy's almost decent as a... As an administrator. But we should assign him to something. Can I not... Can I not send him here? Why not? Oh, it's not orbiting one of my own systems. Alright, let's send him back. Because I should probably put him on the behemoth. If if I've got a, this big ship meant for uh, crashing into people, then we really should put, you know, my, my militaristic hero on that guy. Oh. This fleet cannot be modified. Interesting. So... Behemoth cannot have... I guess we'll just leave the Behemoth there. So we need, we need some, uh... Military. Well, let's take a look at this. So has... has Transvine... has Potatoes... Colonizable. Do we want it? Not overwhelmingly, but I'll take it. The The sooner we actually get some of these going, the better. I really want to play an adventure game by these guys. Like even something that uh, plays like Diablo or something would be amazing. I just want to play a game where we can go, uh, we can go kind of ex explore this universe, like in person and actually look at it as opposed to kind of like these little vignettes. Oh, that'd be nice. What I want to do is be able to afford that, but we're going to have to wait on that one. Alright, whatever. Oh, right. Tech screen. Did I totally forget about that? I must have. So I usually focus industry first. Industry, a little bit of science, a little bit of food. I like the uh, the endless legend tech tree better. It's so much more compact. Like No Man's Sky, but these guys making it instead would be good. I don't, I don't, wouldn't want No Man's Sky, uh, but like, can you imagine Mass Effect made by these people? But like, instead of like some overarching choice, it's just like, uh, let's see, uh, instead of instead of like some overarching plot. It's just like wander around and do a bunch of random uh, story chain quests. That would be that would be cool for me. I don't know. It'd be nice to play a game that doesn't have an overarching plot, just a bunch of little subplots, kind of uh, Octopath style. Uh, just just so you can kind of experience this experience this universe. And more Mass Effects would be nice. It would be so nice. Anyway, in spring we yearn for the simplicity of war. Gardening is hard. The Emperor himself wrote this poetry in a classical form. It is a, it is good that he maintains some tra traditions, for the Hisho have been changing radically. New sciences, new organizations, new codes, new laws. I fear that we are forgetting our own history and values. There are even the Reformers, a group dedicated to adopting new galactic ways and consigning the old ways to museums. Many Hisho listen to them. But not I. My name is... Tizio Blackridge, a teacher of the mil of military history and martial arts in Redbone Islands for the Itazik Sea. Itazik Sea. I will soon be rotating back to active duty after several years as an instructor, and I have been preparing for my next posting for years. I grew up in the tales of the Blood Sisters. I read their legends, studied their texts, practiced their martial arts. They are a memory of a time when the Hisho stood united against all. 
when the sanctity of the nest was everything, when, the, when courage and honor were things that existed in daily life, not in stories. I will see the temples of the Blood Sisters reinstated, their feats of arms studied, their stoic and tenacious ways imitated with pride, or I will die trying. Either outcome is acceptable. I am no gardener. So build ships with defensive power or assimilate a minor, minor faction. Let's go full hog military on this run. Let's fight everyone. All right, still can't do much with this guy. I guess we're just gonna fly around with him for a little while. I don't actually know what the behemoth range necessarily does yet. Let's see, random, random question. Did I enjoy playing here Horizon Zero Dawn? Yeah, it was a fantastic game. I really enjoyed it. Oh, have found the pilgrims. Uh, immediately, too. Okay, so we can declare war on them. They're religious. Relation rewards none. Okay, born from a mix of dissident scientists and intellectuals unhappy with the authoritarian rule of the United Empire government, the Pilgrim's true calling came when they discovered a vast cache of endless artifacts in the Cooper Belt of an alien star system. Still living a semi-nomadic lifestyle, they fled United Empire retaliatory fleets. The Pilgrims developed a mystical fascination and reverence for the Endless. Friends with the Sophons, they're a blend of educated scientists and tattooed mystics, and have dedicated themselves to finding the Endless Homeworld of Tor. I think that's the first time I've heard of that. Also, welcome, Stump Friends! This is, uh, Endless Space 2. It's fun. What were, uh... Oh, Jas and, uh, Ash were probably playing, um... More Witcher, weren't they? I should play that someday. Okay, well, we're gonna leave these guys for later. I'd like to assimilate these people, but that'll be a later date. Okay. Oh, and it's a uh, galactic dead end as well. Well, let's just put this guy on... Well, no, let's fire one of these off. That's not what I'm trying to do. I'm just gonna fire one of these off if I can. Did it Did it go? Did it not go? No, it didn't go. All right, pew! And let's just put him on auto-explore. Okay, science. Science I'll care about later. Found another one, the Bagava. Culturally resistant. Huh. Alright, whatever. We'll deal with them later. Where are they? Oh, they're over there. Huh. You know, if I could actually uh, assimilate them quick, that would give us a nice foothold that I wouldn't have to think about. Okay. So what are you up to? Nope, that's, that's not my home world. This is. No, let's get the uh, cerebral reality first. Now that I'm thinking about it. Okay. Because that extra dust and science will help. Okay, 18 technologies from the military quadrant. And that's just a com competition. Maybe you should think about that. Okay, are you just kind of hanging out? We'll do one further. We're not gaining any K regularly yet. We haven't even found anybody to fight. I'm like in a weird, like, sort of not corner of the galaxy. Oh. You've discovered the planet Kairos. Kairos, when discovered, was a planet whose environment was so welcoming it was taken by many predestined endless sects as their promised paradise. Unfortunately, a conflict and strife exploded over its care and exploitation, and a gray goo nanobot plague was unleashed by a suicidal doomsday weapon that destroyed the biosphere. It exists today only as a memorial and an object lesson. Imagine Mass Effect Andromeda's pretty planets, but with this game's idea of a plot. Yeah. I didn't hate the idea of Mass Effect Andromeda, but I always wished it had been less about some kind of weird overarching Me Too plot and just truly been like, let's just have some fun here. I guess let's assign him to this system for the time being. He's doing nothing. I don't have enough military to really justify that. I don't know. I, I would just love to see some more like third-person shooter RPGs along the way. Uh, especially ones with like an interesting universe. 
I don't know if they'd have the budget for that, though. I... Amplitude Studios kind of exists as one of those, like, small... I wouldn't call them an, un an untouchable. Um... No. I wouldn't necessarily call them untouchable at all. But, uh... You know, they've kind of got this nice equilibrium of make really nice 4X strategy games. Don't think too hard about anything else. And so... I would hate to see... I would hate to see them, like, go out of their way to try and, uh... Go to their way to, like, try and, you know, edge into the... The void left by Mass Effect. And then have it backfire on them terribly. Okay, I'm... We seem to have found kind of our dead end, so we're just gonna bring the Behemoth back to Ursa. Or maybe... Xenius, for now. Or maybe just stay there, because yeah... We got nothing. And yeah, these guys slowly like us better, so this is fine. Man, the turns are so much faster in this game, too. Hello! Oh, no. For a second, I thought we just, uh, got a totally new, um... We got a totally new ship just randomly by going through there. Okay. Uh... Yeah, this is definitely one of those where I'm just gonna be kind of passing a bunch of turns really quick. I guess let's get one more brood ship. Maybe, let's undo the Peregrine, because I don't think we're going to need that. Yeah, let's just expand. And yeah, I'll, I'll try military this one. Oh, pirate base. Alright, well that's something, that's something to go whale on. I guess we'll use this guy as a manage, uh, manager for now. I'd like to have him on a fleet. Uh, let's see, per person, per industry on system, per planet on system. Let's do this one. He's applied to Ursa, right? Yeah, Ursa is the right one. Good. Okay, so I'll have to worry. I'll have to worry about those pirates, especially because the freaking pirates right there. Uh, ha -ba -ba. unfortunately, we don't even have any military ships. Can I design any? No. We gotta find new ship designs. If I remember right, they're actually down here. Are they? Where do you find the new, uh... The new ship? Oh, hover class, it's over here. Hardened behemoths. Owl. Carrier. Yeah, so this this is where we get our new ship design. So we actually kind of want to go down this direction. Instead of this. I don't... I have Xenobiology. Eh, queued up, but maybe I should work on that one. We'll leave that for a bit. Alright. Okay, official support, militarists, obviously. I like this political system. I've never been, uh, terribly interested in trying to min-max it. There probably is, like, a, a good way to do so. i just, uh, later. You know, I wonder, I bet my behemoth might be able to... Uh, it's damage ain't great. Can I modify the behemoth? No, it doesn't look like it. I wonder how you do so, because, yeah, it does... I will admit, I'm not sure if he does much damage. Yeah, in fact, my, uh... My scout has more firepower than this guy. The only the only main benefit of, of this behemoth is, is simply to just be in the way. So let's let's not do that. Let's That's a bad. So what laws could we pick up? 
Extra money per person. Extra science per person. We lose a little bit for 25% fids, though. Let's grab hatched at home. Because a 25% fids bonus is nice. And we can run that for at least 80 turns. Does mean we're going to have to go pugilize some people before a certain point. Because if, if we lose too much, uh, if I remember right, our... our people actually get, like, really mad at me. Let's take a look at this pirate. How strong are you? Uh, pretty bad. So I, I could probably go after him. Because, yeah, we need, we need those new shirt, uh, ship designs before I can really do too much. Because, unfortunately, I, I'm just gonna be uh, throwing scouts at them, effectively. Until we wait. Okay, uh... So we're working on planetary landscaping. We're done with this. I think these are the only two I've got queued up for now. Because, yeah, getting at least up to this one so I could get some... I don't even want the hover hover class. I'm looking more at the claw class? They're all going to be garbage, but still. Okay, so 14,000 health on unspecialized behemoths. And set the module multiplier to two times on behemoths. Interesting. So you can specialize your behemoths in different ways. Uh, flexible. Huh. It actually looks like there's a number of behemoth upgrades, but I don't necessarily know how to specialize them. It'll come up at some point, or we'll just never find it, and people will be mad at me. Okay, while we're at it, can I tell you auto explore? Okay, good. So I can just let him go at this point. So yeah, we are, we really are in just this kind of back-end corner of nowhere. Well, that'll help. I always hate it when I have, like, a bunch of really close neighbors. But then again, if I'm going to be the one fighting everybody, maybe having close neighbors isn't so bad. Okay, what can I build here? Sun gods... What's this? Sacrifice? Oh. That's a bit messy. I'm not sure if I want to do that. Can't get those. Oh, no, I, I can't get those. Yeah, so we don't want to do the Sun God's Ritual, because this will kill people for some extra... bonuses, but I don't really want to do that. His show's observance changes after every election. After three observances, the cycle is complete and it restarts. Interesting. Okay. So the effects change, uh, not exactly randomly, but still. Okay. So we're done with those. Okay, 10% bonus after space battle on fleets, 10%, okay. And we did not search all of the curiosities. Well, that's fine. That's working on off-world agribusiness. Oh. We, we gotta get those new ship types first. Okay, more food, more food. Gotta max the pop quick. Unfortunately, the endless games are always just an insane amount of waiting. You can just kind of sit back, though. Like, that's the one thing I, I do like about this. Okay, small portion of the resources and let you repair retrofit in their systems. Yay. Oh. Your outpost on Nakos is produce a population unit. It requires a usage to turn into a colony. Oh. I didn't realize... That's how this works. Okay. Oh, 
Oh, interesting. Ancestral reference. So you can use these satellite systems to send resources back to your primary one. That's actually really, really helpful. Because that way I could just put all of my satellite systems to effectively send all of their resources back to this one and turn my, uh, turn my homeworld into a mega giant. I'd like to try that. Still not any... no one to immediately fight. We have these pirates. I guess I'll send my... my behemoth after them. He'll win, if only just because of pure raw bulk. Okay, atmospheric anomalies. Gotcha. Can you... Eh. Uh. I want to fight those pirates. Here we got a we got another brood ship. Where do we send them? I guess we'll send them up to Acellus. Not much I can immediately do. What are we losing? Oh, we're losing from hatched at home. Oh, it's per per system. Oh, that's that's a complication. We really will just have to fight everybody. Well, it's fine. I don't have anything better to do. No, stop flying away. I want to fight you. Well, then again, that's not exactly what I call a particularly good setup. Okay, so what's this? A guardian? Well, let's edit the hawk. Auto design. Pretty much don't have anything good that I can put on these. All right. Let's make two hawks and two kestrels. What is my maximum fleet size? I actually don't know what that is. Huh. Huh. Well, later. But yeah, at least at least we could go uh we could go nuts just fighting pirates for a while. Okay. So we're done with that. Can I keep going down this tree for a little while? No, the answer does not look like that's the case. So I can make proper behemoths. An extra fids per person. Yeah, so that's that's worth. Same thing with the university. If I'm not mistaken, yeah, I can't build it anyway. Actually, we want to get this one. Enables the unlock of new heroes. Because, yeah, the sooner we get new heroes, the more stuff we can do? Maybe? I don't know. This game always felt more complicated to me. But I think that's just entirely perception. So, yeah, I'll have to, I'll have to get rid of the hatched at home. The high. There's a little for the hey, we found the Cravers! Screw the Cravers! Contents. That's somebody I can fight. For Where are these people? I have no idea where they are. Because Libra, Libra is pirates. Oh, there they are. There's pink, at least. I don't actually know where the Cravers are, but I. everybody hates the Cravers. The Cravers hate the Cravers. Screw the Cravers. Okay, what's this? Launch a mining probe. I'm gonna just chuck that down. Yeah, it can be destroyed by enemy fleets. Harvest, harvest resources. I probably should have put that down on a completely different planet somewhere around here. Then again, it, then again, it doesn't look like there's actually anything good on any of these. Yeah, yeah it's good that we're coming out here because we need the titanium. Okay. So one more turn and then we can actually work on stuff. Official support on military. Be 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 be. All right. Okay. First to get those. Build two ships of at least this. Okay, so we're done with this. So we must first prove that we are worthy to speak of the Blood Sisters and tell their stories. Build ships that will serve to defend the Hisho, as it once did. I feel the deck thrum beneath my claws, the thump of troops. 
Changing the watch. The ship is a living thing. A hunter, worthy of our ancestors. Okay, so we've got that taken care of and puts us up a little bit on K. We face a challenge that Blood Sisters did not. Really new peoples and new planets. The Emperor cannot do it. The Reformers will take it as a sign of weak. Oh, if the Emperor cannot do it. The Reformers will take it as a sign of weakness. It's one thing to win battles. It's another to federate the survivors into a nation. Invade and occupy one system. Okay, so pirates should work. And this will get us the Wrath of the Tantsai. Which is a weapon module. Cool. Alright. Uh, assign skills. Honestly, I think I'm just going to turn this guy into... Into a systems administrator. I'd prefer to use him for other stuff. But... You know, they actually make decent administrators. Kind of. No, they don't. They kind of do. A little bit of money, a little bit of industry. Yeah, it'll be fine for this. There's better administrators, but then again, like endless, endless uh, legend was definitely the the stronger one as far as that stuff goes. So center of the obsidian eagle. Had some influence. We already have a lot. Look at the big data shipyards first. So, converts one population to, into five. You know, we could actually just do this. Evo. Mathematical like unlikelihood of life occurring spontaneously has driven these robotic beings to believe in a divine and ruthless creator. Huh. Apparently we just had like a, a race on one of these. The Elo. Well, we might have to resort to blood rituals to some degree, but then again we have a lot of food, so it wouldn't exactly set me back. We'll do it once the population start getting maxed out. Oh, behemoths orbiting this node provide these bonuses. 10% fids. Or just flat 10 fids. I didn't even... Wow. Okay, behemoths are good. Well, we still don't have anything immediately that I can do. We'll go after Beerus once I have a proper... proper fleet. Okay, so let's make a new fleet with these guys. So, is this... Yeah, 4 out of 4. So what we want to do is... Guard. Can he guard? Okay. We want to guard, we want to fight some of those pirates the as they come through. The hey, we got these guys. I like being friends with them. They're very peaceful. And that means I can just kind of rely on them to not attack me. Well, they're relatively peaceful. Oh. So we can make a scientific behemoth. Or a military behemoth. Get a military behemoth. Huh. Oh. They don't take long to make. Curious. I can't outfit them, can I? Oh, I can. Okay, so let's... Now we can modify these suckers. So what's the scientific one? Uh, how is it different? It doesn't immediately tell us the bonuses. Oh, wait. No, there it was. The scientific behemoth has this. Lowers technology costs when orbiting black holes and neutron stars... Orbiting solar nebula. Okay. And extra around... Special nodes. What about the military one? It actually doesn't look like the military one has... 
any kind of special note. But they'll fight. That seems fine by me. Okay. Yeah, so we'll make a military one. I want to fight people. I mean, for bonuses and stuff, and because it's going to start penalizing me if I don't just immediately fight. Holy crap, how isolated am I? Incredibly so. Well, that makes my life easier. Okay. So we want to fight. That's the economic, though. We want to fight with these guys. Battle! And we don't feel like watching. I don't know how much kit that gets me. Not enough, that's that's for certain. Okay, so we're just gonna have them guard there. Let's let's get the uh, mil military behemoth down first. Colonize. That. Okay, we want to colonize this one. Yeah, it's a decent one. Yeah, the hatched at home thing is going to very quickly become a problem for me. But it's important. Which is the one... Okay, this is the one with the, uh... With that. So we should, we should start gaining titanium. Good, I needed that. Okay, we're out of research. Let's keep working on that. So we got new behemoths. Our research is going a little bit faster. Having the uh, economic behemoth is not actually a terrible idea. So what does this do? So flexible behemoths, improved behemoths. Uh, let's see. Extra food. Actually, we want to we wanna get pretty much all of these. So let's work on those. These might take some time. We should look into maybe getting some of the science. Oh, what's this? So extra movement points on Behemoth, extra vision range on Behemoth. So there's a bunch of Behemoth upgrades just everywhere. Huh. Yeah, I, I really wasn't paying attention to half of this stuff. I was just like, yeah, they're, they're kind of interesting. I didn't even notice it until we got the new icon. Well, I'm kind of excited to see how this turns out. Okay, so military behemoth will be done next turn. Then we can go on. Then we can go on uh, battle mode. Ooh, Ziu looks kind of decent. Beefing up the behemoth is an intended research path for your race. I think it's, yeah, one of the main things you're supposed to focus on. Okay. Sign skills. And yeah, for better or worse, he'll just be a uh, militarist. Okay, you guys are on defend. Cool. We'll have another. We'll have another uh, ship to fight. Unfortunately, most of the basic uh, ships that we're fighting are kind of bad. Let's see. Do I want to get this? Probably not. Fealty Foundation. Let's grab that. Extra fids per person. And then we can probably just work on that while we wait. Be nice if I could actually send some science back too, but at least that'll give uh, bonuses back to the homeworld. Tell Whoa! Us. Tell us what you plan. Why did we suddenly lose like a ton of fids? Oh, I know why. We just built this sucker.
I was wondering I was wondering why uh we'd run into problems. Well, I'm gonna send the behemoth out. Yeah, so behemoths cost K. They cost a lot of K. So let's not do that again, at least for a while. So what are you good at? A level rookie, experienced ship. Oh, specialize the selected behemoth into a destructive obliterator, a powerful juggernaut, or a massive citadel. But we don't have specializations available yet. Okay, so that's that's how the the flexibility and whatnot works. Our purpose is to kill. Okay. Well, we've got another fleet. And no warp path, so we gotta we gotta figure out how to get there. Hmm. Well, this will be fine. Worst comes to worst. I mean, how are our populations looking? Yeah, kind of full. Well, let's build that. Build that. Actually, hold on. The Endless Research Park and Endless World may be a little bit more important than any of the other things for a bit. Uh, let's see. Okay, well, this behemoth is just going to go punch some pirates. I would have waited a little bit. Okay, so they're amicable. At some point we'll be able to do a quest. Assist, declare war, praise. We've got a fair amount of this. We'll just praise them. Speed this along. Hello! How do I bombard? Oh, I can't. I didn't even think about that. But yeah, my behemoth is not is not capable of invading. It can fight, it can destroy. But that's it. Okay, smoking gun, reduce cheat cost, or arrest spies. Hell yeah. And, uh, death. I ain't got nothing on my behemoth. Okay. So let's start invading. And do we want to do preemptive bombing? Hell yeah! You can do nothing to stop me. Uh, let's see, what do we do next? We have the, uh... What's this? Uh, extra capacity. Extra money. I was hoping one of these would have science, but of course not. These guys don't do science. Do we do money? Yeah, let's do money. Money is always going to be one of our, our biggest holdbacks. Hold it? Eh. One of the biggest things, like, holding us back. We'll see how it goes. Okay, so we want to just keep bombing them. Minor victory. We might just have to fight Shargon. I mean, it might also be one of those where K, like, we don't actually have to worry about dutiful. The obedience score. Interesting. I, I wonder what happens if it uh, drops too low. Well, let's get fieldy foundations on these. Uh, if it'll let me. Oh, maybe it only lets me build one of those. Who knows? More military must fight. Well, 
Well, we're getting five now, and we're not losing any. So that's good. Oh. First to reach the endless park and endless world in your systems. Cool, so we got the, uh... We got the first, uh... Wonder. Okay. So we're done with this. So let's take all of these guys. Zinnius. Nobody's on Zinnius. That's just a resource. We can't get there. Oh, this is going to take some time. <laughs>